It's true. It's time that we stand up for hope and love. And in these days of the great alarm, we don't have to be shocked silly. And we don't need to uh, have things happening unaware. It's time to light, therefore, a new candle of hope for one and all of us. And I'm so excited and I'm so privileged to be the person that has been entrusted with getting God's unadulterated word of the equality of mankind out to all mankind, for he has loved us with an undying eternal love from the beginning, every single one of us, with all of his heart, with all of his might. And all of us have been children of love and all not committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting our love die right out. All have been saved. Um, and it's awfully hard to let your loved life go out. Even the writer of the book of Satan, he was woke uh, on his deathbed. Watch the video of uh, um, Anton LaVey called uh, Anton LaVey's Deathbed Confession. On his deathbed, uh, the Lord came and lit the candle of love for Anton. And he was like, oh my God, oh my God, what do I do over there? Because you know what? He had heard the great bell of the alarm ring. And he was woke up from a, a reality that has never existed. And one there, where there is not a loving God having the backs of all of those whom he loves. And so it's time to get ahead. And it's time to turn on the lights. And the Lord knows how to do that if we will awake. And it's time to say a little prayer. And it's time in these days of Elijah to lift up the prophecy of Buddha. And uh, that uh, he said would come to pass that people would know Christ to come uh, by seeing the nail scars in his palms and his feet. Uh, the wound of the sword in his side and on his head, the wound. So more than ever, these are the days of hope. And hope will spring eternal. The reason I have the you in there is because this is now to become a united world of love. Because that is who we are. We have all been drops from the ocean that came from love, and we are exactly the same as our Lord above. All people are good as babies, and all of our love has been moving as a great uh, flood of adoration as we were young. But we get old, and we let forgiveness and uh, bitterness let our uh, love wax cold as we walk the path of the unforgivable sin letting our love go out, which is Christ in us, letting God himself, his light go out in us. That brings forth a curse. So praise the Lord that these are the days of Shiloh, the days when all authority on planet Earth has been given unto one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. I used to think it was Jesus, but then I realized he was never an alcoholic like me. <laughs> Oh boy, my doctor could tell you stories, but not about my alcoholism, because I don't really get drunk. And the Lord has uh, saved me from an early grave by uh, helping me to preserve me by giving me thanks by giving me some uh, how you say uh, discipline. And so it's time to light new candles of joy that will last well beyond. The next hundred years or 500 years for the next thousand years and in accordance with daniel 12 1 praise god the bell has rung on prophecy and satan has been removed one of the very first things because it was one of the last and uh that is what people do not realize is that you cannot understand any prophecy unless you understand the truth that Jesus always said of the first being last and the last being first. 
I'm looking for my glasses. Ah, here I go. I'm a 60-year-old guy who's probably got cataracts by now. So it's time to light that candle of hope for the kingdom age and know that the flame of hope should never go out from any of our lives and with hope each of us can have have a life with peace faith and love for faith is love and peace is faith and love is forgiveness and mercy you cannot have one without the other. So look at how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness, said Anne Frank. And it is true that if we follow the light of love, uh, it will mesmerize us and hypnotize us because we can take our candle and we can light the world with it. And uh, we got to become the solution to the problems in the world and our beloved love of the ages is the solution to all of our problems so know that a candle of hope that's lit in someone's life will definitely brighten our lives one day sometimes we got to fake it till we make it and we got to keep on keep on and keep on trying but sooner or later the day comes even if we're walking two steps forward and one step back, even if we're taking baby steps along the way, we're still going in the right direction. So know, therefore, that there are two ways of spreading light to be the candle or or uh, the mirror that reflects it. And that is the way to spread light. So you be the mirror that reflects it or become the candle and burn just as brightly as you know every candle of hope should be burning and know that hope is being able to fully see that there is light that there is light that there is light in spite of all darkness that has been around us so we gotta be the light that helps others to see and it is of love alone that that light will bring us to a, a new chapter where we will have kingdom age peace going before us and know that if we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong unto each other. And it's time that we revert to how it was in the beginning. So shall it be at the end where we see that there has always been. Yeah, I'll be out in a little bit. Thanks. That, that we'll see that there's always been one loving God over one loving people. And there is only one nation. And it's time that we become the light that we need to see and know that each of us can maintain hope, faith, peace, and love if we will turn on our inner lights. And know that all the darkness of the world cannot extinguish the light of even one little candle and that the Lord has made a way in the wilderness of the desert of our ignorance of love and there is no gross darkness of love darker than ignoring love for it is better better to light a candle than to curse all the darkness and it's time that we get that into our spirits because uh if we keep peace faith love and hope in our hearts it doesn't matter what you call it we we uh, the bible says those without a vision perish we must have faith love hope alive in our heart or we will get sick unto death by the darkness that we invite into our lives. And know, therefore, that thousands of candles can be lit from one single candle. And happiness never decreases by being shared, said the Lord through Buddha, who is a full-fledged Bible prophet. Um, Isaiah the prophet foretold by his stripes we would be healed, that Christ would be flogged. But Buddha foretold every single death uh, scar that he received at his uh, crucifixion, which was an execution. So uh, he's absolutely a Bible prophet. And know that it is time to move forward where all truth is. Truth is truth wherever truth is. So it's time to light the candle of hope kingdom age hope with the match matchstick of belief and if we believe 
that uh, the Lord will pour out his spirit of love on all flesh as he foretold in the book of Joel. Then we can only then start to get ahead. So know that hope will never fail to satisfy our deepest needs and so that we must do our part to keep it alive. And seek ye first the kingdom of God for all shall be added to us as we stir up our love unto overflowing and become the mirror that will reflect his peace, his love, and his hope. So therefore, a good teacher, hopefully I will become that. Um, I'm like a candle, even myself, because I need to consume myself to the light, uh, the way for others. And so I am being consumed as I light the way for others. And I could not get that in the bottom of a Jim Beam. So I've had to give that stuff a good break because I came to realize that love, faith, and hope is far better for me than uh, getting my liver pickled young. <laughs> I don't want to make a good-looking corpse. I want to be old and roony and pruny. And... So every time that we feel grateful, um, every time you feel grateful to the Lord or to other people, we are giving love. And whatever you give, you receive. And it is time to realize that karma is the same thing as the, the, the law of reaping and sowing. We receive back that which we have given out. And know that it is very, very true that a candle is a very small thing, but one candle can light another candle. And see how its own lightness increases as a candle gives its flame to the other. And only as we spread our love will that brightness come forth in such a way that our world can be consumed. And it is time that we increase our light and increase the light that will illuminate thousands and millions of others. And uh, if God lights a candle, know that none can blow it out. And this candle at this here Latter-day Kingdom Age channel of the Latter-day Mountain of Isaiah 2, Micah 4, the, the mountain of food, the mountain of meat of Isaiah 25, has been built and the candle will always be on. Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? It is I, the Latter-day Daniel, one from the north uh, of Isaiah 41. And know that it is time that we all get along in the sandbox together. So this Christmas is just past. And uh, I have lit this Christmas candles of joy uh, despite all sadness. And I have lit candles of hope uh, even where despair keeps watch. I have lit candles of courage where fear always seems to be present. I have lit candles of peace for the tempest-tossed days that are behind so that we can have fewer ahead. And it's time that I have lit some candles of grace to ease our heavy burdens and candles of love to inspire all of my living and your living and my loving and your loving and candles that will burn all year long. And how appropriate is it to make this program the New Year's resolution. This is being filmed on December 31st, 2021. And this is the channel that the world is ignoring, uh, the channel of the brightest Kingdom Age light that will ever be, because I am Elijah, I am Shiloh, I am the Latter-day Daniel. Water, steam, and ice people, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, they are one and the same. Shiloh is Elijah of the uh, prophecy and he is the Daniel who embraces his destiny as the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12 13 so it's time that we all get ahead and look at things in different ways for wisdom holds a candle to experience but you've got to take the candle and walk alone each and every one of us has to walk alone so know that thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle and the life of the candle will not be shortened 
one little bit uh, by doing that. So it's time to, more than ever, as the kingdom age goes into fullest gear, know that life is no brief candle unto me. It's a splendid torch. So ask yourself, will you keep your torch lit? No matter what, even if you fall, will you get back up and will you grab that torch of kingdom age hope, love, and peace for all people so that by the teachings of love, there will be no more terrorism in this world. For there is only one Lord God, and he is one. He is love. He is hope. He is peace. He is all of that and much more. And all the people in the world pointing at false God, false this, false that. There is no false God. There is only one and his name is Isa Yeshua Jesus. He is Emmanuel, who was never, uh, uh, he was God in the flesh with us. He was never a son of God. Yes, that was his name. Yes, he is the son of God. But was he a son of God? Hell no. <laughs> he was God in the flesh. He loved us that much. And so is it that all those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. And truly, truly, verily, verily, I, Daniel, his latter-day Elijah, Shiloh, who holds all the kingdom authority, just as it is written in Genesis 49, 12, I say unto you, verily, verily, the, our beloved love of the ages, who is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored, he loved us so much, people, that he gave his only begotten love, so whosoever would love should never perish, but have everlasting love and everlasting life until infinity never has a chance to end because it's never going to for us who love child for me.